So three on three, Thacker, Hall, and Nolan start for the Hurricanes. We are underway in the overtime period with the Hurricanes going left to right in white. Broncos right to left in blue as they start Ward, Philman, and McGinley. Hall through center, dancing in over the Bronco line, leaves for Thacker. Thacker spins on the right side, works down the boards. Hall alone in front. Thacker delays, right circle inside the attacking zone. Leaves for Hall. Justin Hall shoots, save made, loose puck. Jamming was Nolan. And a whistle as it was under the right pad of Isaac Poulter. Yep, Poulter did a good job holding his ground there to make sure no juicy rebound for Nolan to whack away at. Nolan, without a goal on the season, would love nothing more than to send his team home happy tonight. Broncos this season, two and three in overtime, 0-1 when it gets to a shootout. So they too have gone past 60 minutes a handful of times. Barlogi just had a stick knocked out of his hand and Davies will get the puck. Both goals for the Broncos tonight. He'll work in left side. Davies delays. Betahar came up with him. Davies will cycle. Betahar will take on the left wing. Picks his way back to the blue line. Ryan Betahar throws on the brakes. Dishes for Wyrostock. Knocked away from him by Barlogi. And the puck comes outside the zone. Approaching a minute to uh, played here in overtime. Out comes Betahar. In over the line. Got poke checked again by Barlogi. Racing is Barlogi to try and get to the loose puck, but Davies got it and starts it back forward. Fan on a pass, and Barlogi will jump on it. At center, working it over the Bronco line. Barlogi has an overtime winner in his career. Leaves for Wormold. Down the left boards, Logan Wormold taken hard to the end boards by Wyrostock, and Wyrostock will get the puck and start to center. Curls as soon as he got to the red. And now Wyrostock will lay it back for Rafael Pelche. Five minute, three on three overtime. Pelche works in with space, hit on right wing. Pelche around the net, sends it back. Van Imp loads and fires, blocked fearlessly by Nash. And Wheatcroft will get the loose puck and play it off for Logan McCutcheon. Has a man at center, it's Nash. The pass to him, racing is Wheatcroft to join. Nash hit on the right wing, slows Nash to the front. Wheatcroft got taken down to the pass intended for, went under his stick. Now Nagy starts back the other way. Two minutes gone in overtime. 2-2 game. Nagy on the right board. Cycles down for Pelche. He's watched by Wheatcroft. Pelche has it. Now leaves for Nagy. Swept off his stick by Wheatcroft. And Chase will defer for McCutcheon. And the Hurricanes likely will try and get a change here. And they will as the forwards head off. Jumping on is Hall and Tyson LaVenture. McCutcheon will defer. Hall will swoop back. On will come Nolan to replace McCutcheon as Hall starts to center. Justin Hall to the Bronco line, picks in left side. Delays, works to the middle, got poke checked, and now Matthew Ward jumps on a loose puck. Halfway through overtime, Ward with McGinley. Ward in, delays, cuts up high, back across, and a shot off the outside of the net by McGinley. He healed it. McGinley will take it on the right side. Works up top, little touch for Ward, trying to shake free. Matthew Ward couldn't get to the net, curls in the right corner. Cuts up high, Ward pressured by LaVenture the whole way. He was able to steal the puck and try and get away. A breakaway in overtime for LaVenture. Stopped by Poulter, but he got slashed. And there's going to be a penalty on the play and a power play for the Hurricanes in overtime. Great, great work by LaVenture there. He did a great job defensively to make sure he didn't take a penalty and then pokes it out to the neutral zone, giving himself a breakaway and then draws a penalty and the Hurricanes will go with a power play. Just fantastic effort by Tyson LaVenture. Probably could have been a penalty shot. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would agree with you. And you know what though? Maybe in this situation you might be I'm not doubting LaVenture, but maybe you're in a better situation. You get a full two-minute power play, barring any other penalties or the game being over. And now you get a chance for two minutes on the power play. And I'm not too sure what the argument here is at no, the bench. me neither. And the Hurricanes are going to use their 30-second timeout after all of that. <laughs> I think Justin Hall was just trying to I think, let yeah. the referee know. But the referee yeah. was having some issues there. So a timeout here by the Hurricanes. A power play opportunity. 2-0-2 left in overtime. A 2-2 game. And a huge opportunity here with the game on the line. What vision Matthew Ward showed on that three-on-three, oh. three, though. Man, I still cannot get over where he's ranked in the central scouting mid-season rankings. And I, I just think there's so much there to like that it's hard 
to really think he's that low in the rankings, but just another great example of his vision right there. Makes a great pass, and McGinley kind of whiffed on off the outside of the net, and eventually Ward does lose possession to LaVenture, and LaVenture gets a partial break, and Poulter makes a nice save. So power play in overtime, four on three, will feature Barlogi, Thacker, Hall, and Arnson to start. Face off to the left of Isaac Poulter. Nagy, Van Imp, and McGinley, the defenders for the Broncos. It's the fifth power play opportunity of the game for the Hurricanes, and a face off won by the Broncos. Rolled in on Poulter, he'll scoop it aside, and Van Imp will clear. Good awareness by Poulter. He could have hung on for a whistle there. Instead, he realizes he's got Van Imp right there to get a quick clear. Now Arnson through center. Power play for left bridge Honda as Thacker picks in wide on the left side. Good stick there by McGinley to steal through to the line, but held in. Arnson will set up. Barlogi up top. Logan Barlogi touches off for Justin Hall, and he'll have to track after it. Gets it back for Arnson. 90 seconds left in overtime. Thacker right circle. Curls up high. No shots yet. Thacker, Arnson won't shoot. Walks in, now he will stop, loose puck, and that didn't get home. Hall will tip it back. Arnson, right point, across for Thacker. Top of the left circle, he'll switch places. Thacker leaves for Joe Arnson. A minute 10 left, Arnson to Thacker. Right dot, Barlogi in front, working up top is Thacker, waiting for traffic. Thacker put to the side, and Hall couldn't tip it home. Comes free to Arnson, top of the right side. He'll work down the wall for Hall. A minute to go in the power play, a minute to go in overtime. 2-2, Hall waiting for Arnson. Back Hall, he fires, blocked fearlessly in front by McGinley. Barlogi to Hall, back across the seam, and that couldn't be taken cleanly. Puck to the line, and it comes out. Arnson couldn't touch it, Thacker will. And the faceoff is going to come all the way down with 41 seconds left in the power play, 42 and a half to go in the third period, or pardon me, in overtime, and a 2-2 tie. Credit where it's due, and that credit goes to the Bronco penalty killers. They did an excellent job just holding their lanes. Hurricanes were moving bodies around. It's not like they were just standing still and not looking for ways to open things up. The Broncos just did an excellent job getting in the lanes and holding their lane and not getting out of position. Face-off win for the Broncos, and Carter Stebbings will hook it all the way back into his own zone. Daylon Weagle will hustle back. 35 seconds to go in overtime, and a clear here by Weagle all the way down. Thompson will come out of the net. LaVentro, who drew the penalty on a breakaway opportunity, will start forward to center. One last dash in overtime. Wheatcroft in over the line. Chips it down the left boards. LaVentro goes to the far side, wraps up his pen. Puck is free along the wall. Now Stebbings will pin it to the boards. Ten seconds left. Puck dug loose. Wheatcroft for Wormold. He shoots off the bar. Now Plevdiev, time running in. Wormold scores! <laughs> scoring, he closes the scoring, and the Hurricanes victorious 3-2.